I just made a totally epic video about how you can expand your EcoFlow power station with a cheap, huge capacity lithium iron phosphate battery or multiples of them. You can see I have a little space heater plugged in right now. And it's pulling just over 800 watts of power. And if I come over here though, you can see out of this battery, we're drawing just over 11 amps of current from it. Big shout out to the old Jarhead YouTube channel. He was the one a couple weeks ago that uh, made a post about uh, this setup and I was able to uh, reference that and uh, build this. I simply have eight gauge wire here coming through a 40 amp DC rated circuit breaker. I soldered on five millimeter bullet connectors on the end here and uh, they just plug into the extra battery port. And then if you look carefully right in there, there is a one kilo ohm resistor and there are six ports for the communication terminals in there and the two ends of the resistor plug into the top and bottom hole on the left side closest to the positive connection point. And that turns the relay on that allows us access to the 48 volt battery voltage from inside this at these ports and thus allows us to run this. I also have a second version of this that will work with any size power station, regardless if they have different uh, communication protocols and if that resistor trick doesn't work. And as you can see here, what I've done is simply spliced into the extra battery cable, and then I'm able to still utilize any OEM expansion batteries that uh, I may have still while expanding the system with cheaper alternatives on top of it. So just wanted to give you that uh, quick update on this and encourage you to go watch the whole video. I go in depth on how to configure this, how to build it all, both versions, method one and method two. So please go check that out. Like and subscribe, because we've always got more epic content coming.